Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our Start from Scratch Elm Creek run here. And we've got all of our sorghum replanted. Uh, everything's rolled out. Uh, let's double check to make sure I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, we're looks good there, looks good there, looks good there. This little strip right here is, is not, not filled, actually. Uh, in fact, if I head over there, uh, if I come over here, I don't remember if I showed you this in one of the videos yet, but I went ahead and trimmed off the field here. It just kept kind of bothering me that the uh, some of the issues we're having with getting close to these trees. So I was like, you know what, let's just trim it a little bit off, make it a little bit easier on ourselves, no big deal. Um, so that's done, and that's just what's telling me that it needs rolling, so we're just going to ignore that, obviously. Other than that, uh, we're done for today, I think. Uh, we've mowed the grass, we planted the sorghum. Uh, next up is harvesting the barley and then uh, doing the herbicide and fertilizer on these and that will all happen next month but before we do that let's go ahead and get rid of the cedar uh, do I, did I get rid of the seed out of the cedar I don't know why I don't remember why I left it over here but it's over here off to the side I'm sure there was a reason let's see um, can we see if it has CD in it? I think it would show up, wouldn't it? I don't see any seed. So, I'm just going to assume that it doesn't. Um, and we'll go with that. So, let's return you. And we can return the mulcher too, because, well, no, wait a minute. We're going to need it after we finish harvesting the barley. Now, technically, we don't need it until we are ready to plant the barley again we can do the the we can either keep it for next month or we can i guess we could lease it again in september when we harvest the sorghum that might be better actually yeah i think that's better than holding on to it for an extra month now so we'll do that um i think that's it for today then we're good how's the bread looking over here Looking all right. Getting a little bit, a little bit put in the trailer already. Uh, strawberries are okay. They're just piling up. We're going to have lots of strawberries to sell in January, which is <laughs> quite a ways away. But we're going to have a lot of strawberries to sell when that comes. So let's go ahead and fast forward to a new day and get ready to do our uh, fertilizing, herbiciding, and, of course, harvesting. Now, I don't know where we're going to put the barley. Because the point of the barley was... At least partially to uh do we have water still on these yes we do yes we do uh, at least partially for the water uh, the uh barley was to uh feed the chickens that we can't afford right now so we'll have to figure out how we're going to handle that I think I'm backwards, aren't I? Yeah, I was like, wait a minute, why is this turned around? It's not turned around. I'm turned around. So I got herbicide in here. I can't remember. Can we put narrow tires on there? I don't think we need them. But, I mean, if we can, we might as well. Oh, it already has no tires. Okay, perfect. Then, actually, what we should be doing is putting bigger tires on at some point. But, yeah, it's already had the narrow tires, so we can bug out there. Kind of needs repaired up, though. Can we do the repairs here? Is that something else we can do here? I can't remember. I'll suddenly... Yeah. So, we'll repair you up. We'll have to get gas here soon, but we should be okay for now.
It was very hard to see the weeds on this particular field. Or at least this particular crop. Get you rolling. Let's grab our harvester. We don't have a harvester, do we? No, we just got the mower. I was gonna say I thought we sold the harvester. So we'll have to we'll have to get another one at some point, but for right now we'll just uh we really don't need a big one for that one little dinky field. So honestly, we're probably just gonna go with whatever the cheapest harvester we can get is. Um I'm gonna go with this new Holland because it is slightly faster. <laughs> That's a good enough reason for me. Although it is a tiny header. Uh, I think, I mean, we could put a bigger header on there, right? Um, I think we could put that one on there. Almost double. That might be a little weird because it might have some troubles with it, but I think we can make this happen. <laughs> Hatter is almost as much, it was expensive as the uh, the harvester. Are you not able to run that? Oh, that I was not expecting. Really? I was not expecting that. What? Like, you legitimately cannot push this thing? What? That seems strange. Okay. Um. Haha. <laughs> Not expecting that. I mean, we've, we've run bigger things on these things before, but obviously this is maybe, I guess, a bit of a stretch. Little surprised you can't run it at all. I mean, come on. Um. Well, then the question is, do we want to get a different harvester or a different header? Different harvester is more expensive by a pretty big margin. I mean, granted, it is only 155 horsepower. I get it, but 
Still would have thought it would be able to push that at least a little bit. I wonder if this class one can, I mean, are these all universal like across the board or are they just brand universal? I actually don't know. Oh, one way to find out. Let's try it out. All right, before I do that, though, let's get this guy set up on the other field. Did you get this all herbicided right? No, nope, actually, you're missing a little bit. Because of course you are. All right, well, we're gonna learn something new today. Now watch this thing not be able to push it either, but at least we'll know if it can connect to it. And that's a start. Oh, connect is a yes. Actually operate? <laughs> well, let's see. I mean, it can spin it. Can it push it? It can push it. Uh, no, it can't. Oh, it got a good start. It almost did it. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. That it. How is this thing that big? doesn't feel like it should be that big that it's not able to be pushed by 200 horsepower it's not i don't know maybe it's really not that big but whatever well at least we know that it can connect uh i guess that's step number one a little trial and error gonna cost us some money but what else we're we gonna do about it let's go get our our correct header for this one i guess
should be that one. Oh well, this is what it is. It was worth trying. But now we can know we can mix and match, uh, which I thought we could, but I could I wasn't one hundred percent sure. Uh, but we do need the horsepower. That so cost us what four thousand bucks for those that new hauling that we didn't end up using, but that's all right. All right, well, obviously that's going to work. Uh, we've used this one before anyway, so we knew it was going to work. Uh, let's get you to do this little strip up here at the end for some reason that you didn't get.
All right, let's have you grab the trailer. Alright, did you actually finish? No, not even close. You're just all sorts of confused, my friend. Let's get rid of you guys. It's actually fertilizing anything. Mm, no. Did I already fertilize? No, I didn't fertilize, did I? When would I have fertilized? No, I planted and then I fast forwarded. But it looks like these are all ready to go. Is it because of the grass that I mulched under? I wonder if that was all that needed. Or did I use a cedar this time that had the fertilizing it with it i might have done that i can't remember to be honest i should have double checked all right no it looks like we're good on the fertilizing though okay well then i will not even mess with it 
I should go back and watch my video to make sure to, to see what I did last time. Uh, because it has been about a little over a week since I last recorded those episodes. Don't actually remember where I left off. Right, well, I'm just going to park you over here. Um, and you're almost full, so let's grab the semi. Just barely fits under that arm. All right, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode there. A little bit of a hiccup at the beginning, trying to get the right setup of Harvester, but that's just because I was trying to be cheap and then ended up having to spend more money than I wanted to. So it's all right, though. Um, but yeah, but there we go. I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.